Yeah, hi there. Sample Robo 6.5 is out for several weeks by now. I wanted to do a video about this earlier, but the first version was a bit buggy. And by now, 6.5.04 is out, which fixes all that stuff. So let's have a proper look. And why I want to have a look is there are two cool new features in that version. First one is we get Bitwig support. So you can directly export sample sets for Bitwig from Sample Robo directly loaded into Bitwig, no further conversion needed. So we will take a look at that. And the second cool feature is since the previous version, Sample Robot can do now also automatic sampling of plugins. And now we have a speed up processing. So it's no longer real time. It's the advanced processing you also get in your door, for example, when you do a mix down of your VST. So you have now the same feature in Sample Robot. And this will speed up the process quite a lot. And it's a huge time saver. So let's have a look at that. So first thing you need to do is to select your VST you want to sample. And I loaded up here the DLL of an ARP Odyssey of Korg. And what is a bit weird here, you not only need to select it here via the browse, you also need to click on load. So you should not forget that. Otherwise, your plugin will not be available. You can also have a look at the editor and select a sound there. And we select a sound for sampling here. I picked some favorite. Let's say we want to sample here that pad load it up and we're ready to go. So let's create a project with the project wizard. Okay, we go. Let's say we want to record here black in VST 64 bit. It can do that. So the name was disco string machine. And also let's say cork or this say plugin and next. So let's just put any path, for example, let's create create a folder for that. Here it is. Okay. And we are ready to go. I think for, for that one with 16 bit is sufficient for that. Let's keep that. Let's do 61 keys. That's also fine. Velocity layers. We go with one for that sound. Key step is also, we want to have the full range. 12 seconds, I think is fine. We don't need a release length and we want to have an auto loop created. We will also check if that works then in Bitwig and how the auto loop works. We go, let's uh, <laughs> pads. Okay, let's go with that. Loop start 50% is fine. Let's also go with that. And we are ready to go. And we could directly start recording. So let's do that. And what you now notice is we have 12 seconds. And if we count, it will do that in much less. So next one, let's count when it starts 21, 22. 23 so it takes about three seconds for one sample which actually is 12 seconds as you see it's a huge time saver and you don't have to wait the full time for that so let's fast forward and not wait in the video for all that to happen i skip to the end of that so we are done with all the recording and it asks us to save the project which we also do straight away so let's store that and as you see all the samples are nicely recorded and sample robot auto detected the loops so we can listen also to that And this sounds perfect. And now we can go to the export, which is here in the import export menu. And there is still my wish pending that <laughs> these names are not sorted. So this would be really a nice change to sort that. So you need to look a bit to find Bitwig Studio. Here it is. Bitwig Studio export is in there. We have still several options. So we stick with the resolution frequency we already selected. So let's keep that stereo channels. Everything is fine with us and we go. Also so let's keep that here in the same folder and it's the multi sample name and we can save that. You have now the option also to give a category. So this will be pad and a creator would be me. Keywords could also be strings, pad, 
warm, lush, whatever you come up with. And let's say, okay, so that's it. So it's exporting now and creating this Bitwig multi-sample file. And we're already done. So let's check out, let's close down sample robot. And here you also see this is the file created and it also has the nice Bitwig icon. And we are ready to check that out. Uh, let's drag in simply this new multi-sample. As you see, Bitwig will automatically create a track for you and it will contain a sampler and voila, there is also the loaded string machine. So let's check that out. And you might need to tweak a little bit. For example, let's have some release on that. Yeah, works great and this was really simple and straightforward and also those looping is set nicely so some robot does all the job for you. So 6.5 I think is a great update. It's much faster if you want to record VST plugins and also Bitwig export is a huge time saver and if you have some cool sounds make some fucking music. <laughs>